Hey guys, it's Face for Face Gaming here. I hope you're well. Guys, I got another matchup for you. Um, Vampire Coast versus the Dark Elves on Total War Warhammer 2. Um, slow it down just so I can run through um, run through the two armies very quickly. Now I'm Vampire Count, so my brother is playing the uh, Dark Elves. I've gone with uh, three of these pirate deckhand mobs, one set of deck droppers, um, one set of zombie gunnery mob, two sets of um, oh sorry, zombie gunnery mob, two sets of hand gunners, um, just there in the flank as my range units, three sets of these sirens because they are absolutely awesome, two sets of these scurvy dogs, without a doubt queen bass, um, death guard with pole arms as some sort of queen bass protection. Um, Noculus on um, his Necra, ne Necra on his mount. Um, yeah, pretty um, pretty decent army. I was a little bit disappointed that I, I maybe should have um, maybe not gone with the three sirens. Is what I was thinking initially, as I found myself pretty surrounded. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. He's gone with um, some Black Art Corsairs, um, a set of Witch Elves, three of these Manticores. There's one there, one there. Uh, two manticores then maybe. Um, which else? Three sets of these bleak swords um, here. Two sets of dark shards. Three sets of dark shards. Sorry, there's another set of black arcs here and another set of witch elves. So that's two witch elves, two black arcs, three bleak swords, and two three dark shards. And he's taken a supreme source source of fire as his um, as his lord. And in the flanks, he's got two sets of Dark Riders, uh, one here, one here, and two sets of Dark uh, dark Riders with the repeater crossbows. Um, I put it on to, uh, to full speed and get a better feel. I think he throws these um, throws these manacles up to try and cause a bit of havoc and also get into, um, try and get into my Queen Bess, but I think he thinks better of it when he sees the Death Guard with pole arms, because they're going to go down, they're not going to go down there. Uh, Fighting. I managed to clip the manticore here. I was a little bit confused last time as to why it dropped in to this fight here. Because it's obviously not the um, not the ideal fight he wants right in front of the hand gunner. So it just gets peppered and melted. But I managed to hit it with Noculus. And it actually um, it rampaged out of control and just, yeah, just straight into my pirate deck arm mob. Sorry, he does have three manticores. I'm not sure where that other one came from. But quickly, the one that rampaged like, gets sent off just with a mixture of... Uh, my hand gunners and, and the gunnery mobs. He does get one into the back of Queen Bess here, which he's kind of desperate to shut down, but these um, these Death Guard will, will make kind of quick work of that. Um, in the back here, I tried to... Um, I saw all this cavalry and he knew that if you could just sit behind me, you'd just be able to pepper Queen Bess and uh, take the crew out of the game and it'd be an expensive pick to not get very many kills. As you can see, it's sent off that set of Black Hawks, uh, Black Arcs straight away. Maybe I should have changed targets here, but I was... Uh, a little bit slow on the uptake, quite a lot of other stuff going on. So I'll slow it down quickly just so you can see what's kind of um, kind of happening. I've got the scurvy dogs and the sirens in the back. I'm trying to work in tandem to um, uh, send off these dark riders, which I do achieve. I send off the two sets of, um, sorry, one set of the dark riders. The other one comes in here to try and um, s um, sit on my hand gunners and take those guys out with another manticore, taking out a batch of them there. This set of manticore, uh, sorry, this manticore here that came straight into Queen Bears with a mixture of sirens and death guard, very, very quickly taking him out and not really lost a hell of a lot of uh, a hell of a lot of health off Queen Bears. Sometimes if people can get too fixated on killing this thing, it doesn't have a lot of ammo unless you take the gunnery white, which I haven't. So if you look, it's probably only got about another four or five shots. So you can get quite fixated on it, but if you're not going to take it out very early, the damage can already be done, so it can be a bit of a waste of some of your better units, like the manacles and stuff. Probably would have come in handy, maybe just not. You're desperately trying to slug the Queen Bess and getting caught up in these Death Guard, who, look at their stats. I mean, anti-large, armor-piercing. Um, yeah, they're, they're brutal. You really don't want to go in there. High melee attack and high weapon strength, so um, mix in with the Sirens as well, who are also brilliant, and these depth, uh, Death Droppers sounding off. Um, the front lines have met here. Uh, Witch Elves have gone into my um, my Deckhands mob here. I got more Deckhands mob here, ready to, um, to bring in. Noculus has a cool ability on him. I spent extra on the um, giving him the uh, ability to summon another set. Um, Captain's, well, Captain Ross Moon Medallion. Summon another set of um, Zombie Pirate Deckhand mobs out for like twice. So 
that's super handy so you can go so you can skimp on the deck and mobs a little bit because they do hold their own pretty well so um he's coming up here now um these guys are, are madison kane two more coming in just to create kind of a front line while i try and deal with these um these dark riders here at the back um if you notice noculus with these three sets of dark shards um, this would have been the target for my queen best but there was just quite a lot going on that i didn't uh, take into account noculus watch how quickly this uh, watch how quickly they managed to uh, to melt noculus like obviously the, the fireball didn't help but those dark shards with their armor piercing um, pretty high uh, missile damage peppering him they literally take him to absolute bits um, which is a real shame as you can see yeah the, the queen bears she's pretty much she spent all of her ammo and I didn't use it very well. It's still targeting that set of black arcs. Um, and that's absolutely wasted shots. You know, these are the shots that I want here or in here. And I do realize I think and change it over shortly. I think this shot is a change shot look. Wow, that, they're the shots you want. If you're gonna take the queen best, you really, really need to be on top of it. Um, making sure that you're not wasting. Um, wasting your shots that's an amazing um, pretty good vortex i managed to get off there um, right on top of uh on top of his bleak swords um, and his witch elves and that does some really good damage but as you can see noculus is absolutely spent he managed to get 103 kills that's dude he's an expensive unit that's 3300 gold i think it's gone there and at this point i'm looking around i'm thinking sorry press the wrong button um i really don't have a lot of stuff left um, and I thought with him dropping like that would literally be the end of my morale. But everything holds on really well. That's kind of one of the last shots with Queen Bass going off there. So a quick recap. I think I've sent off all of his manticores. And by sent off, they're all kind of in retreat. And they've all got a very, very small amount of health left. These Dark Riders are just proving to be a nightmare. I'm, I'm, I'm wasting quite a lot of my decent units, that are my fastest units, trying to catch them. So I kind of think that, yeah, I'm just going to leave that fight instead of wasting the Sirens. Um, these guys are all locked into combat with these deckhand mobs and yeah to be fair they're holding their own really well they're not getting a hell of a lot of kills but they're just keeping these units um, units at bay um, and then I start to go after these dark shots seeing that the amount of damage they can do and um, how dangerous they are with noculus coming down so quickly like that I start to go in and chase these guys with my sirens and that's a good shot there you can see the damage this thing does that's got to be 30 models maybe and that wasn't even a direct kind of um maybe more it wasn't even a direct shot so i'll speed it back up but yeah i go after these dark shots hard and these sirens become my new um my new favorite unit they literally are really they, they're, they're quite quick for a kind of um for a melee unit or melee unit and they can just catch pretty much anything else in the field so these dark shots now in skirmish mode they're just bolting away from them it's stopping them from firing but they, I mean, eventually one of them is going to get caught. I've still got some of these scurvy dogs left, which I utilize to take out some more of his uh, his dark shards. Um, these deck droppers have just finished off a set of his the witch elves and stuff that were there, the black arcs, which leaves him with just these two here. Um, these dark riders come up, and if you see, see like, he's still two manticores that still go in for this, um, this Queen Bess, which by now is completely out of ammo. So he's having to land those manticores smack bang in the middle of Death Guard, and they just melt to those guys. It's a bit of a mistake on his part, still going for this Queen Bass and sacrificing. I mean, these manacles have all lost most of their health, either in this fight or, or to kind of hand gunners. I roll what gunneries, uh, kind of gunnery mobs and hand gunners I've got left up onto the top of this hill to try and trade off with these um, with these Dark Riders, um, who do actually, yeah, um, they do stand and kind of uh, and, and have, a, have a kind of um, sound off against each other which um, you'll see later on probably would have been a better idea for him to have thrown these into melee against these guys because they honestly have terrible melee stats 8 12 melee defense is terrible both on 7 but for, for kind of the right or wrong decisions he does decide to trade with them um, <laughs> at range which is exactly what these guys want and they do get some good kills um, quickly check on my uh, so the, yeah, this is the Bleak Swords versus the um, Zombie Pirate Deckhand mobs. Joined by some Sirens now and the Death Guard, you've got no need to, uh, to attack Queen Bess anymore. They'll get killed pretty quickly. Um, I've managed to pin down his uh, his Sorcerer, 
um, sorceress as well. And if you look, I've sent off with the sirens and the, the scary dogs who have now, um, I think they're all gone. But I sent off a lot of these dark shards and did quite a lot of um, a lot of damage to them. Which, looking around the battlefield now, literally everything's in my favour. Um, these sirens are pretty much untouchable for anything he's got left on the field, minus this sorcerer. But I imagine she's pretty skint of uh, pretty skint of any kind of manner at the moment. Um, as I said, these guys are still trading ranged, and he realises here that that's a fight he's going to lose. So he does um, he does throw them in, and then yeah, they um, these guys take an absolute high uh, from the Dark Riders after they've been thrown in. I've sent off the last of his bleak swords here. Um, it's just a case of now trying to hold everything in a group to try and keep them uh, keep the morale together. Um, but as you can see, yeah, the battle's pretty much turned in my favour. I've got his Lord Core between these sirens. There's no way for me to get away with the speed is um, the speed of these guys. Um, there's, there's no chance for it. She's unsupported. Um, and then it's just a case of mopping up what's left on the battlefield. And honestly, these sirens do such a good job. Um, 33 kills here. Um, 24 kills on those guys. 34 kills on those guys. But if you look, the morale's kind of holding together. They've still all got good HP. Um, and yeah, there's nothing left on the field that can can offer them a challenge at all. I start using these um, deck droppers to just um, fly around and just scrape up the last of the dark shards, um, getting some shots in there, doing some good damage though, but not enough to um, not enough to, to to worry me at this point. With just his dark riders left, um, some black arc horses, um, and some stuff that's that's really low with with morale on the cusp. If you could have got his sorcerer out here, I feel like you probably could have fought on a bit longer. But I, there's no real answer to these sirens at all, and these death guard as well. They've got some crazy stats. Um, they really take quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of beating to um, even for them to start dropping unit models. See, they've only lost two models through the whole game, and they've been fighting manticores and god knows what at the back, trying to uh, trying to uh, protect the queen bass. And this is yeah, kind of the final stand. Um, Dark shards coming in. I think he gets his uh, he gets his sorceress away, but it's all a little bit too late now. There's just not really got any units left to, uh, to commit to the fight. And for as as poor as it looks, I do just keep these guys as a big ball, just rolling around unit to unit. I was worried that if I started splitting them up, their morale was already starting to um, to, to to kind of waver a little bit. And if you think Noculus has been dead for kind of over half the game now, and these guys have really held it together, a full kind of right or wrong i'm not saying that um they should have broken they are still quite healthy but i don't know i don't feel like they had the um i don't feel like the impact was there um for when he died as, as kind of large as it should be as your only kind of leader or anything with encouragement kind of dropping off the field so i do feel he got a little bit robbed here but the sirens are honestly uh, they're a hell of a, a hell of a unit and i think yeah that signals the uh, the end of the game um Good match overall. I think if he hadn't got a bit caught up, as other players do as well, as I know I'm guilty of as well when I fight against the, um, the Vampire Coast, is getting too caught up <clears throat> looking to kill Queen Bess, even when um, she's really only got maybe one, two, or kind of four shots left. I know those shots can be absolutely devastating once you're um, once you're all bulk, bulk, um, kind of bunched up in in your um, uh, in your front lines and stuff like that, but. Maybe throwing the three manticores at it probably, maybe not the best idea. Three quite expensive units that um, kind of in um, in against the kind of um, deck and mobs and stuff would have teared them up pretty quickly to get your bleak swords and your kind of dark arcs, wood shelves um, pushing through. Then and uh, yeah, maybe about a better chance against the, um, the sirens. I'm not sure the manticores do kind of magical damage or whether I dreamt that. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Getting some good kills with his sorcerers. His bleak swords obviously doing doing some work in the front. Um, set of black arcs doing well. One set of them are obviously the ones that Queen Bass was um, was ruining. The dark riders I think thrown in a bit quickly with the scurvy dogs, uh, who were supported by the sirens. Maybe could have let them charge around a bit more. Um, kind of just keep me distracted at the back or keep me thinking about the back rather than let them gone. Because once it just came to those dark arc repeaters, I knew I was. Oh, sorry, the dark rider repeaters. I knew I wasn't going to catch them, and I knew that I could waste a lot of time just. Just trying to get them and they could do kind of limited damage so i kind of left them a little bit longer but the dark riders i know if they'd managed to get into the back of um best or kind of into the back of my gunnery mobs could have been a real pain um, 
on our side. The, the scurvy dogs getting some really good kills, kind of against archers and also those dark riders. Best doing the work, kind of 174 kills. That's that's pretty good considering. I think for the first kind of five or six, seven shots, I actually just had it on the, a target that I'd already pretty much decimated, so kind of wasted those shots. Surprisingly, some of our um, uh, zombie deckhand mobs getting some good kills. Um, obviously, bleak swords are those. I mean, bleak swords aren't the, the best stats kind of unit on the um, on the battlefield, but yeah, doing doing some work there, not bad at all. Noculus, I feel like I didn't use him very well. Let him get exposed, let him get caught out by those um, by the dark shards, and he um, yeah, for a for kind of an expensive lord, he really melted. 103 kills, so I'll take it. But I could have used him better. He still had zombie mob summons and stuff to go. Um, but the sirens, if you look, kind of um, quite a lot of health between them. Um, still quite a lot of unit models. Get some good kills, but just being so quick and kind of no real no, no real counter for those at all um, and difficult to counter anyway you pin them down in combat they're going to fight for a long time I, i'm trying to think about what dark elves have those kind of uh, with magic attacks that would have really countered those and i kind of lost a little bit he did ask me afterwards what would i have done to counter them and i said i didn't really didn't really know um uh, and of course the depth guard just being our queen best protector for the mess for the best part of that match and doing a really good job you know i think they lost two or three models fighting two different mana cores, which, yeah, they're a, they're a hell of a pick. They're kind of, you, you need a set of those or two sets of those in your army. Uh, overall, yeah, good, good game. GG. Um, guys, if you like the videos, um, like the posts, please you know, give them a like. Subscribe to the channel. Um, and until the next one, um, at least in regular content, but I'll, I'll catch you again. Peace, guys. Be safe.